Hi everybody, welcome back to my stage 4 journey. Happy spring to you today. Today is the first day of spring. I wish I felt like jumping for joy, but I don't. I have been having a pretty rough week here. I just haven't been feeling good at all. This week has been pretty rough. I haven't done much of anything. Uh, all week long, I just couldn't get up and do anything. Just didn't feel like I had the energy. It's been rough. Uh, I haven't had the stomach issues as I've been having, but um, I just don't have the energy. So, I, I did get up off the couch yesterday evening and went and played cards with uh, some friends of mine that we played cards with uh, a couple times a year and that made me feel better uh did win or so that did help make me feel better so but uh i just really enjoy going and having fun down there with the guys and and uh that did make me feel a little bit better and uh today that was on saturday and today sunday the first day of spring i just didn't feel like i had any energy to get up off the couch i did get up off the couch early in the week sure was off a couple days this week and uh, we went for a walk um we went for a drive and we stopped at a place went for a walk and i thought i forgot to bring my gopro so i, I carried my phone and i videoed it with my phone and of course i didn't video it right and i just i couldn't make a video out of it it just didn't look it just it just wasn't good so i didn't put that video out and i'm still gonna work on see if i can figure something out with that but i'm not having much luck with that so that was on monday and then the rest of the week like i said i i just didn't do much and then uh Yesterday, I did get up off the couch and, and go play cards, so I, I did feel a little bit better uh, yesterday afternoon into the evening, but uh, today, uh, I didn't do much, and it's cold and, and windy, you know, it just didn't feel like spring today, but I sure did put a video together yesterday, or, or filmed with her phone too, and I, I'm hoping I can get some video out of that to use because i really like it and um yeah so i'm gonna try to add that video in here with this one and um i hope you enjoy um going for a walk with cheryl out in our swamp and uh, she shows you our um frog pond a little bit more and um yeah i get to hang out with her for a little bit but uh, right now I did not feel like cooking dinner and she didn't feel like cooking dinner so I'm gonna run up here to one of our local restaurants and we ordered some stuff to go so I'm gonna go up there and pick that up and um, I'll play Cheryl's video in between now and I will stop back and see you uh, all in a little bit with Cheryl and we'll finish this video up so I will see you all in uh, a little bit but uh, right now let's just ride up and get our food from a little restaurant called uh, Mountain Shadows so here we go
back and I'm at my favorite spot to sit after these rainstorms and to spend time with my frogs, my peeps. So excuse the hair, it is Jeep hair, don't care, and rain shower poof, but hey, it's all good. However, I am going to turn you around and hope you enjoy some of nature. And I have to put on the muck boots because it is definitely a little mucky. So yep, got the rain boots on. So here we are. Little fog pond. And I'm going to slosh around in it a little bit. Got water draining in. But I want to show you. We missed the frog frolic. I call it other things as well. But um, <laughs> a couple days ago, it was nothing but a party here in our backyard with all the frogs getting it on and now they made babies so we have all of our tadpole eggs and in a couple weeks We'll have loads of tadpoles and frogs protecting all the tadpoles. But I know I'm a crazy frog lady. I love it. If you sit and watch. The eggs, they move around. It's like they're going, hey! I'm waiting for a frog to come up here and scare me. Jump up, scare me, and then my phone would go in. That yeah, totally suck. <laughs> But the water's just rolling in after the storm. But this is where I like to come and enjoy. And then of course we have the peepers. Some people call them tree frogs. Some people call them peepers. Now, if you go back here, we got our own little river going through. And this was just from a thunderstorm. Pretty crazy. Just running on through. Hopefully I don't lose a boot in the muck. I'm going to try to get out of here back out of my mud mess. Oh, I got to show you. 
you truly know when it is spring because the skunk cabbage come out. Let me see if I can get a, a good shot of it. It's this thing right here. And they poke their head out. And generally it's after thunderstorms in the spring. And they truly smell like skunk whenever they grow up. And they kind of look like a head of cabbage when they're full grown. But they're usually all over the place as well. So, I enjoy my adventure. Ooh! Oh, my about lost it. Fell down. So, okay. I'm heading back. Try not to lose a boot on my way back. It's almost dark. And this is when you can really hear them. Between the birds and the peepers in their symphony Still waiting on my tree house. I want to sleep out here listening to all these frogs. That would be amazing. One of these days. My little beast of heaven. Okay, where you at? All right, well, I, I just got back from Mike's Mountain Shadows and picked up some dinner here. Let's show them what the food looks like, honey. Yeah. Okay, I got, the, I got the turkey and Filling dinner with mashed potatoes and corn. Weighs about 10 pounds. And she ended up going with... I was feeling fishy. She went with the haddock baked potato and I don't see any coleslaw. Oh, they forgot my coleslaw. They didn't put the coleslaw in there, honey. Oh, well. It's not a very big piece of no. haddock either. It's a good thing I got breaded mushrooms for her. Yeah. Holy cow, so... Yeah, we don't go up there often, but it's it's usually a lot better than that. So, and they were kind of busy, so we'll we'll say it was that. But anyhow, uh, that's how we're gonna finish out my week, and I'm gonna hope that next week is a lot better than this previous week. And I hope you all enjoyed your little trip out to the frog pond with Cheryl. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> In and, the sloshy muck. Yeah, it's going to be muddy out there for a while, but uh, oh, I got to remember to take my GoPro with me more places, and I usually carry it with me. And the funny thing is, is I actually had the GoPro in the Jeep. I just, my mind was shot, uh, and like I said, I wasn't feeling real well, but it was in there. I didn't think I had it, so I didn't even bother opening up the the center console to look, but it was, it was in there. 
So we missed a video on Monday on the walk, but uh, we'll make up for it. So, oh, okay, with all that said, thank you all for coming by on my stage four journey. And we hope to see you again next time. So see you later. Bye. Bye.